<sighs> well, here we are again, guys. Um, back to another fun and exciting episode of I Blew My Car Up Again. Let's see what happens. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Distraction Garage. As you guys saw in my last video, um, I blew it up again. And here we are, sitting. Contemplating life. <laughs> no, not really. So um, a lot, a lot has gone on um, since last video. Uh, trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. A lot of things have been running through my mind as far as should I put another stock motor in the car? Should I go through and put a piston rod motor in it? Should I do a a, a sleeve setup? Do what should I do for this new motor? Um, I got a couple blocks laying here. Um, I have a spare head over there just in case my head is done. Uh, we got a lot of things going on here. Um, I'm getting married in September, so once all of that stuff is done and over, then the focus comes back onto the car after the wedding. Until then, I'm still deciding what I'm going to do about the car. Should I try some time attack? <laughs> we'll see how all this plays out. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let me start tearing this thing apart and see uh, what broke. All I can see is oil everywhere right now and I'm, I'm not very happy about that. But I can see a slight hole in front of my starter right here um, on the block. I think that's where it really blew. Um, oh, oh, well then, there's a... <laughs> There's a piece of, I'm guessing this is a piston ring. Um, not much of it, whatever's left. So yeah, piston definitely took a, a Oh well. All right, ooh. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's, oil in my intercooler and there you can see it a little bit as it drips out there's the intercooler pipe and there's nothing but oil in there um, not that that's a good thing but I did blow the motor so so far that's what we know um, let's look down here so you guys can actually see the oil pan how there's a huge hole in the oil pan um, Try to zoom in here as much as I can, but inside of there, there's a piston. Um, so that's that's all I know so far as far as what's broken. Um, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting, interesting uh, rebuild or at least tear down for the most part. But I think I think I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but down in there. That is a hole straight down into the block. Uh, I can actually see a little bit of light down there um, from the oil pan. So, oh, there's still some stuff in the radiator. That was very, very loose. go oh wow oh 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 geez okay hold up I don't know if you guys can see that but that is all oil in the intercooler pipe not sure how good you guys how much the light can catch into that all right here's pieces of the block there's a piece of the block there uh, a couple more pieces of the block down here as well so, more, more destruction. I'm used to it at this point. I'm sure you guys have already seen me talk about blowing this thing up multiple times. This is the, what, second time, at least with a K-series, so. All 
right, guys, real quick, before we get on with the remainder of the video, uh, make sure you guys visit distractiongarage.com to go ahead and get yourself some Distraction Garage merch, some hats. I got a couple other things that I'm releasing slowly. If you use code DISTRACTION10, you're going to get a 10% discount on your complete order. You guys can also follow me on Instagram at Distraction Garage. I post a lot of behind the scenes footage of what's going on with the car, pictures, some uh, videos and things like that. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Distraction Garage. And with that said, let's get back to the video. Alright guys, so as you can see, I got the pretty much everything off of the head of the block, or sorry, everything off of the head of the car. Um, I started, once I got the intake manifold off, I noticed uh, that there's a lot of debris inside of the head, meaning that the head is most likely trashed. So um, let me get a flashlight, that way you guys can see what that looks like inside. Alright guys, so let's take a look inside of the head. Um, so far, as you guys can see, there's a chunk of, I'm guessing, the block. Um, there is the, right there, cylinder number one. The valve is completely chopped off. You guys can possibly see that a little bit better. There it is, you guys can see it there. Uh, there's chunks of the block up in the cylinder head, and there's tons of oil in there. Uh, still trapped. Uh, there's still pieces of the block there and I found another hole um, So there's the main hole down there and then I look down here and there's another hole right there uh, So yeah, it looks like I may need a brand new motor um, Might as well not even Waste more time on this. I might take the head off and see how bad the bottom part of the head is but so far it looks like it might be pretty much trashed. But so far it looks like I'm going to need a new motor, which thank God, thankfully I have a block right there and then I have another Z3 block over there. Uh, and my old head from the last motor is there. Um, the only thing that I didn't have was valve seats for it. So I might reuse that and either either one of these blocks and see. I need to see, open this one up right here. Uh, and see how good this block is. Hopefully it, it's good enough. Um, I haven't checked it out to see if the crank is all good. I got this at a local junkyard. So hopefully, um, you know, should be good with that one. But here's the old head that was taken apart and was missing valve seats and things like that. So um, it's still a good head. Uh, there was a little bit of scarring on it. So I may, you know, take this head and this block and put it all together. Uh, so let me keep on with the teardown and uh, yeah, let's keep going. All right guys, so I got the head off of the car, or at least off of the block, um, and at least all of my valve springs and retainers, I think, are all still good. I still may need to change the retainers, uh, but I'm gonna take a quick look at the block and see how bad that is, at least inside. So let me go ahead and get a uh, flashlight here 
and once I get the flashlight, I'll show you guys what this damage looks like. It is, <laughs> it's insane. I didn't think it was gonna be that crazy, but ultimately it is that crazy. So um, let me get a flashlight real quick and I'll show you guys. All right, so here it is guys. Um, take a look at cylinder four. Cylinder three, there's there's debris inside of that one, and let's take a look at cylinder number one. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know what to call that, but that is definitely definitely not healthy. Um, there's the piston all tore apart in there. You can see the crank, uh, so that crank is definitely done. Uh, so yeah, so now let's move on to the head. Um, I was able to take the head off all. No problem, no major issues. Let me grab this light and just stack it here real quick so we get some light down here. Um, but let me flip the head over. Um, this is the moment that I have been least waiting for uh, because I saw inside of the valve chambers, the intake area, um, pieces of the piston. So it most likely made its way up. Um, and it most likely it scored the bottom of the head. So let me uh, flip this thing over and wish and hope for the best. All right, moment of truth, guys. Ooh, okay. So, um, yeah, let, let me flip it over the whole way. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of scoring all in here. Uh, the valves are definitely destroyed. Um, it doesn't seem like any of these valves were actually damaged. Um, you can see the spark plug is completely destroyed um, right there. Uh, these valves are done. Uh, this one is definitely done because that's completely gone. Um, the main surface of the head is okay. It's all this stuff. I don't know if I know. That doesn't seem like that's a huge chunk taken out right there. Um, it's it's a huge chunk right there um, you can actually feel it div in there and in here so um, it doesn't seem like this head is going to be usable again but at least I know the damage um, the transmission and everything else is fine well guys that's the video thank you guys very much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time on another episode of distraction garage where I'm gonna continue on building this car back up possibly better than ever and i can't thank you guys enough for all the support make sure you guys go to distractiongarage.com get yourself some t-shirts um, and support the channel that way also make sure you if you have not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that uh like button and make sure that little bell notification icon is clicked that way you guys can be notified of every every post that I make on YouTube. Also follow me on Instagram at Distraction Garage. Make sure you guys go to Distraction Garage. Use Distraction 10 to get a 10% discount on all Distraction Garage merchandise. Also make sure you guys, uh, everybody in the New Hampshire area, Northeast uh, area, even those in anywhere in the US, if you guys wanna visit the largest Honda and Acura event of the whole United States, if not the world. I will see you guys at New England Dragway in New Hampshire, August 14th and 15th for H-Day 2021. Um, if you guys wanna hang out with me, I'll be on stage, I'll be DJing. Um, if you guys want more updates on that side, follow at DJ Distraction on Instagram. I'll also be posting up information on the Distraction Garage Instagram as well. But I'll be hosting and uh, partying with you guys uh, for the two-day event of what is H-Day 2021. Uh, and with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys next time on Distraction Garage. I'm out.